All right. Hello, um, my name is Fabian Dean Johns. I live in New South Wales, a uh, state south of here. And I found Faster EFT uh, at the start of 2013 after looking for uh, progressive techniques that were more efficient, more quick, more progressive, and more satisfactory for the client as far as getting quick release, uh, quick uh, emotional release to, to change their life uh, from that foundation of the mind. And I've studied the mind for um, many, many years, over 40 years, primarily to heal myself and I was quite emotionally distraught from a very young age. I've looked primarily to heal myself from, from starting when I was about a teenager. Then I found a hypnotherapy technique that I used as a client. I, f I felt myself shift, felt it was for me, and subsequently I found that I am, I, my mission is to help others heal. And it's just my passion, I can't turn it off, I would do it underwater without pay, if it was satisfactory, I don't care. I just like to help others to heal their life, get on with their life. It gives me great satisfaction. I'm, I'm forever grateful to young Robert the Clever for putting all this together. I came from a hypnotherapy background, then NLP, then other emotional release techniques, and I've blended them throughout 18 years of work. But as I say, I was looking for progress. I found EFT from Google that knows everything. I was to go study EFT. I re-Googled it one day, up comes Robert, faster EFT. It immediately resonated with me to the point where that was it, I was going that path. I signed up for Track B on online study because I, I'm in a little town in New South Wales. Didn't necessarily have the financial wherewithal to follow Robert around for studies in America. I, I probably would have chosen to had I been overly wealthy. But I am a disciplined person, so I applied myself fairly um, hardcore to my studies. I've, I've reached level three now, and I'm nearly halfway to my requirements for level four. And I intend to just develop my small home-based business into a flourishing one that has a flow of committed people that are ready to change. And I'm just going to help them do it. I, I love the idea of being the coach and I love the idea of working with this mind, which forever fascinates me. I love humans. And I think they're great. I love de dealing with people. But particularly, I love to see that change and the transformation in people and to actually make a pronounced difference in their life as to wellness. Wellness is a, I think wellness is built into us, I believe, by, a, by that same divine piece of us that is driving us always to heal. I reckon there's always an impulse to heal even though not, not everyone is conscious of that, I don't believe. And then uh, I, I, I just, I guess I'd use my mental powers of affirmation to bring those who are meant to come to me at the time that suits them. Committed people, I, I check that they are committed. I check they're willing to heal. I sort of, yeah, check that they're on their own team, as I call it. And if they're a willing participant, I'm certainly a willing participant. I believe our two intentions make a logarithmic building of energy and, and, and they get what they come for and they make the shift. And I just love it, it's magic, I love it. I, I recently had a lady, I've had some few remarkable transformative processes happen in my office and online on Skype. But this one particular lady found me by way of uh, a recommendation, I think a word of mouth, she came to me, she had the courage to come and face her dilemmas, which were really significant. And, and she, she came to me and she didn't say she was suicidal, but she said, I want to get off the world. So I thought that was quite closely related. And she had a lot of depression. She had virtually no physical function, even though she was overtly functioning in the world, because you can practice and pretend and defend and ignore and it's not, you know, it's, everything's good. How are you going? Yeah, feeling great. But in board, she was just crippled and, and she was in dire need of help. She came, she had some faith in my ability, I guess, faith in the work that would help her make the change. I applied the process. Um, we did, she came back, two hours, two hours, two hours. Then I tend to follow up my clients after a month or so to say, 
did you get the changes you came for? Are you happy? Or are you not happy? Let me know, please, and we'll take it from there. And uh, this lady uh, wrote back to me and said, well, she said words to the effect that I, I live inside me, but I, 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 as yet, I cannot grip who the new me is. I, I find it hard to believe even though I'm in here. And she said laughingly, what have you done to me, Fabian? And then laugh out loud. And then she said, I wish I'd met you a long time earlier, which is a common lament. But then she said, have qualified it herself and said, but of course I meant to meet you when I did. She said, I just feel so damn good. I'm nearly exploding with enthusiasm, joy of living. And the whole world is my oyster. It's full of choice. It's full of freedom. My relationship is back into a loving one from a completely defunct one. And she said, I just feel so damn good. I can't thank you enough. And to me, I mean, that's just really gladdens my heart because this is what it's all about. Um, I have had other ones who had a similar transformative experiences. One, one early days was my sister, an older sister, and I'm number five of seven children, very screwy Catholic people, very screwy early days, screwy, abusive, nasty, not good. This sister rang me and said, oh, I believe you've got this new work, could I, could I experience it? And I said, sure. We did a Skype session. She was in Kampala in Uganda. And um, two sessions, two hours, a week apart or something, and boom, her whole life transformed. And I didn't even know she had what she had, as was, which was the dilemma. I didn't even know she had it. But she undid it. Uh, and and she, she, she beautifully described her shift by saying that her early scary world of people and places and things, it used to terrify her, I didn't realise, um, she said she was very misshapen by these early experiences. She described it as misshapen. And she said, oh, thank you, Fabian, for, allow for allowing me the gift sort of to heal myself. And she said, I, I knew I could get there and I have regained my natural sh shape, my natural self. And she said, I just can't thank you enough. I just, just, life is just so damn different. And, and thanks to Robert again, I've had to experience many hours as a client recent times quite intensively that previously I hadn't had much. And of course there's plenty in the cupboard and I'm letting up stuff every time, I'm shifting every time. And I, I, I have this real sense of um, each time I become more me, more real. Which I, I was aware of it intellectually but I hadn't experienced it um, emotionally. And, and I'm just, I feel this Bloody, I'm a very enthusiastic person on top of all my pain and suffering and whatever. Mine, though. It was all mine. Um, but this, the enthusiasm is building, the excitement is building, and just the general love of life is building and building and building. But more importantly, I guess, I'm letting up my rubbish, my old crap, allowing me to be real, to become more real, and, that, and to help more people to become more helped to really get the changes they've come for. So that is my great joy. And I've, I've come to this in, in advanced, in a physical age, but really I'm a teenager. And I've got quite a long career now to apply these simple processes, simple, highly effective, transformative processes to help those that have got the courage to come and do it. And I'm, I'm, quite, I'm very grateful to Robert for having the brains to put it all together. And um, it's just brilliant. I just can't thank him enough. I feel uh, very, very uh, befriended by the community I've become part of, even though I was quite insular in my studies at home, track B studies. But I, I work with eight other practitioners through America and Australia, get doing my hours. And it's a real sense of comradeship, you know, friendship. And you make quite, quite intimate relationships because I'm a secretive type of person and, and it's challenging for me to even tell the truth, to let it up. But eight different people all know my inner stuff. But I don't care anymore because I can't wait to just clean the slate. Yeah. Or as I said previously, clean my windows. They've got all crap on them. It's like a windscreen with all bird crap on it and cobwebs. And you see the same thing, but then you clean the window and it's just all sparkly. You see the same view, but it is a different perspective, which is linked to a different attitude. And you just plain see 
the truth, the truth. Know the truth, it will set you free, I love it. Um, transform your world by the renewing of your mind. Again, I love it. I, I think both of those are the crux of the work. Undo these weeds. We take on these stupid programs from our early hypnotists, our early environment, our early experiences. We believe they're sort of real and of course we then they operate under consciousness. And despite what I've done consciously, of course this stuff's operating unconsciously. Um, and it's lovely to be able to have these simple tools to unravel it, to become free. Yeah. So that's my story. I, I just look forward to really helping and, and becoming very successful and, and probably widening, widening my sphere of influence by probably travelling and probably going further and wider and helping where I can. And I've already, I've, I've had so many emergency helping situations, even with faster EFT, before I was trained. Uh, um, I, people are in, tap, 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 do this, feel this, tap, 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 bang, it, it just changes. So I'm just, um, I'm just in love with faster EFT. I, I'm in love with the mind. The mind has a particular facility to look at itself and make its own changes. And I feel I'm just the coach and I just follow this, follow the people along. They give you the clues, don't they? You know, they give you the clues. You follow along. You just help them unravel. Them. You get uh, some people say, "Oh, who the hell will I be without all this crap?" And I say, "Well, you'll be the real you that's always been in there. And you've just, you know, you just been covered up by crap, and you just un take it off. You, you always the the divine you is in there, isn't it? The sparkling you. We are love." We seem to be love, we're learning to love unconditionally, to create, to express, to be free. So to me it is fantastic. Uh, I can't recommend it enough to anyone who has even a spark of resonance with anything I say to follow it, have the courage to go and unravel yourself, get yourself real, get on with your life.